Okay, we have a Farfisa board in here. It's a D-sharp, and um, we've got it on the tuner because we've repaired it. We're going to pre-tune it for the customer. He'll get to do the final tuning while it's, while it's in the unit. Now, there's this master oscillator, and as you can see, it's very high in frequency, but it's real darn close. I won't get it exact because it should be in the unit itself. That's his... Um, his waveform off the lowest divider, or second lowest divider. There's the next waveform on the tuner itself, and you can see it's the next next one lower. That's divider one. That's um, that waveform up there on the scope is uh, divider four, um, and then the third one coming through on the tuner is very strong. That's in the range of the tuner, uh, and you can see it's obviously locked. <laughs> and that one is also locked in the range of the tuner. Uh, that one is divider three, also set up as D sharp. These will wind up all shifting on the keys. And then uh, again, we're looking at divider four. Uh, this is divider 4 showing the, the lock on it, and the waveform is on the scope as usual. We're looking at divider 4 for a reason. It is one of the most stable ones there. And then divider 5. Um, it's a little hard sometimes to see the pattern, but it's locked. And again, it's pretty stable. So we've basically got it tuned, and you can see on the scope that we've got lowest, mid, and all the dividers are there, including the fundamental, which is right there. And this is how you can sit there without having the rest of the Farfisa repair and tune the board. That's it.